Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is ReactJS video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to call the Django REST API in ReactJS and populate data into a drop-down list. Let's check the output. At this moment, it's not displaying. Let's reload the browser. See, here we got the final output. All the data is from the Django REST API. From this database first from this database i'm fetching the data in the django rest api as a backend and i have called this rest api django rest api in the react js front end if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before continuing this video tutorial i sincerely recommend please watch my previous react js video tutorials you can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. Before creating a new React.js application as a front end, let's check the back end, which is a Django REST API. If you notice in this Visual Studio Core, this is a Django application which contains a REST API application. And this is a views, serialization, models, and URLs. If you don't know how to create a Django REST API, you can find the complete Django REST API tutorial series in my channel playlist. Now let's check the output of this application. Go to view, then terminal. In the terminal, which is nothing but a PowerShell or command prompt, and the path. Notice the path contains this Django REST API, the folder name. Inside this folder, I have created my Django application. Let's add my application to this path cd employee api enter. After that, let's run this application. In Django, to run the application, there is a command called python manage.py run server enter. Now, after I run this command, we don't have any issues in our application. Below is our the web URL link. Let's check the output. And this is the output of our application, the REST API get method. And this data is fetching from this table, employee table, from PHP my admin, which is my SQL server. And this table contains two columns, ID and EMP name. And here we got those ID and EMP name. Now my aim is I want to call this API, the Django API from the back end and the front end to display on the browser using the rest uh, React.js. Now let's create a new React.js application. Just for the time saving, I created one React.js application in Visual Studio Code which is my first API, which is my React.js application and app.js, which is a default component of our React.js application. Now, first let's create one new component into our project source folder. Right click the source folder, new file. The file name is um, API Django, Django.js, which is my component name. In React.js, there are two types of components. One is a functional and the second one is a class components. Here I am creating the functional components. But before that, we need to import the React class from the React library. So let's add that one first. Import React from between single quotes, I'm adding the React library. After that, I'm adding the function, which is a functional component. Function. API Django, which is my function name, and this function I'm adding default export API Django. Now, this function export default, so export default. Now, this function return method. And this return method contains the uh, HTML elements. I'm adding the root element, which is a div element. In this div, 
I'm adding one center tag. Inside the center tag, I'm adding one header tag. How to call and Django API. Django API in React.js. Then populate data into drop down list drop down after that i'm adding a simple horizontal line now after the horizontal line i will add one select option element which is nothing but a drop down list now before adding the select option element and call the react django api into this react application let's check the output of this api django on the browser let's save this file first now in order to run this component on the browser first we require to uh, configure our component in index.js file that index.js file is inside our project source folder see here index.js file open that one if you notice in the index.js file in the render method contains the app component which is the default component I don't want to run the app component I want to render my component which is API Django let's add that one and let's import my component also in this index.js file let's save all this application now it's time to check the output of this component on the browser for that go to view and select terminal and here we got our terminal and notice the path is API react Django and this is the folder name I have created in the D drive. Now let's add my React.js application to this path cd my first API. Then to run the application, the React.js application, there is a command called npm nudget package manager start enter. And here we got the output of our component. Right now at this moment. This component contains only the header tags and one horizontal line. Now, this API, the Django API, which is a backend, I want to display this EMP names here in the React.js application in a drop down list. So, before that, we need to configure the Django settings.py page, Python page. So first, we need to install course headers. The course headers, I'm selecting the first option. The course headers, which is a cross-origin resource sharing. So with the help of this package, we can able to communicate with the other web domains through APIs. So this package is totally free we don't require any license so first let's install this package copy this command and we need to install this command in the django application not in the react.js in the django application let's open the django in the terminal let's exit in the command prompt i'm pasting that command enter here I got a message the requirement already satisfied which means I have already installed this package if you don't install install this package after installing this package next we need to configure the course headers in the settings.py page in our project notice the settings.py open that one now in the settings.py first uh, let's again switch over to the course headers we need to install this course headers inside this install underscore apps section. So let's add install underscore apps in the settings of py. After that, the next step is middleware. Again, switch over to this package course headers. In the middleware, let's copy this one. We need to add this line above this django middleware dot common so in the middleware see here the django middleware dot common i'm adding that line 
then the last step we need to configuration this is the most important step the origins the origins is allowed to communicate with the other web urls other domains so let's copy this one and paste here anywhere in the settings of py page let's delete this unnecessary domains and the local host 8080 but if we check our react.js app is 3000 let's add this domain name 3000 so now we can access our domain through this api so let's save this file that's it we have configured all the settings the cons header settings in this settings of py in django rest api application now the coding part in react.js switch over to the react.js application switch over to the component here first we require um, the use state use state and use effect these hooks we require then in the function i'm declaring a constant variable is an array which contains two parameters one is uh, to display the records and to set the records e names you can give any names here e names and set names is equals to use state use state use state is an array colon now the next step we need to fetch the web web api for that we using use effect function use effect use effect colon now inside this effect method i'm adding the fetch method which takes the input the request info which is nothing but a web api url let's add that one this is our web api url copy this one and paste here then comma curly brackets and this one contains an array here the first one is a method is a get method if we check here this method is get allow get so let's add the get method get method comma and after that we need to add this content type application json also copy that one the headers headers colon there's this one we need to put this in a single quotes application.json then we require the then method response the response is a json method because the data is json type dot then now the response require um, the set names set names response then the last one i'm adding the error method also then error method console.log error that's it now here we need to map this uh, data for that i'm adding first one select element inside this select element i'm adding one option the option is the label of the drop down list select employee employee which contains the option selector disabled true true and here i'm mapping between curly brackets mm, this e names this is the output enames dot map method in this map method the values 
amp list and this mapping contains the return I'm adding the option to bind the data option between curly brackets I'm adding amp list dot the column name which is the amp name I want to bind amp name let's add the title also title is equals to which is a tooltip EMP list. I want to display the IDs of the employee, the ID as a tooltip. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Let's save this application. Save all. We'll check the final output. This is the ReactJS application. See, notice the select employee. Let's reload the browser. After I reload the browser, oops, something went wrong. Let's check the Django application, the service is running or not. Here the Django application service is not running. Let's run the service. We need to run this server. Then let's check the output. At this moment it's not displaying. Let's reload the browser. See here we got the final output. All the data is from the Django REST API. From this database first from this database and fetching the data in the Django REST API as a backend and I have called this REST API Django REST API in the ReactJS front end. That's it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.